I'm going to talk to you for a moment about a partnership between Zoho and Jive. And let's just jump right into um, my first question. How many of you love listening to and navigating IVRs? In general, people do not like them, but why do we have them? Well, because they actually are helpful. If you have somebody coming into your business and then trying to get help, it's nice to be able to get them. You, what you're trying to do is get them to the right person as fast as you can. Because if we just have finance answer the phone and the person's asking a, a sales question, well, now they're going to get transferred. It's going to burn a lot of the finance person's time. There's reasons why we have IVRs. IVRs are generally really difficult to set up. But when you think about it, if you're using Zoho and you have existing customers, do you know a lot about that customer? You do. Therefore, you should be able to get the customer, if you knew who they were, to the right person faster. But the problem that you face is that your phone system doesn't know your customer. A couple years back, in fact, it was two years ago exactly this week, I sat down with some of the senior leaders at Zoho, and we talked about this problem. And we said, how might we solve this problem? And then we came up with this idea to create dynamic call routing. And here's how it works. We take information out of Zoho. A call from one of your customers comes in, <whistles> hits the, the, the sonic wall, and, and the magic of the internet takes over. And it comes in, and we ping Zoho, and we say, well, here's a number. Does it match any of your customers? Zoho hands back, yes, this does match one of my customers. And then this is what took extra. A lot of businesses are already doing something like this, but here was the extra special thing that we did. Zoho added a special field inside of every contact called contact owner. When we hit Zoho and asked, do you know this person? Zoho not only says yes, but says, this is who owns that contact. And here's their information. They hand that back to us. And now instead of send the customer to an IVR, we just send that customer straight to the representative's desk that they belong to. And then it screen pops up on their desk so the, the agent or representative knows who that person is instead of the old experience of boop, beep, boop, 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 you know, for sales press one, you know, for company directory plus two, all the customer experiences is boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, bleep, ring. Hey, Bob, it's good, to, it's good to hear from you. What can I do for you? Can you see the difference in that experience? Let's take a look and actually demonstrate it. All right, what Dial Plan Editor does normally is it allows you to set up a very simple IVR or a very complex IVR. For example, in a normal business, this over here where it says start, that's where the call comes into your business. Now, what we've done is we could, uh, you can add here a schedule so that you want things to behave differently when the business is open or when it's closed. You could add an auto attendant, and that's a fancy name for an IVR, and I could um, I can add a bunch of options here, um, and I can add as many as I want, and I can program that. But see this thing right here? It says CRM integration provider Zoho. By adding this node and you being a Zoho customer and registering with Zoho, now when a call comes in, the first thing that happens is the call information gets sent to Zoho. Now let's say that the person isn't available at their desk. The representative isn't available at their desk. Well, we could set it up so it leaves a voicemail. Or we could set it up so that um, there's an auto attendant that picks up the call anyway, and so they go into a normal flow. Or what if the customer isn't a customer yet? They're not in your database. Well. No problem, because when we hit Zoho and say, hey, do you know this person? Zoho will say, no, we don't know him. 
So send them to the normal, the normal flow. And then maybe you want to send them to a, what's called a call queue. Well, one of the nice things about working with Jive is that you have unlimited call queues. Most of the telephony providers out there, they will give you a very limited number of queues that you can send into, and they'll charge you for every one of them. At Jive, it's unlimited number of call queues, un number, unlimited number of people in those queues. So you can set up infinite number of dial plans, infinite number of call queues, and organize your business as flexibly as you want to. Well, let's see what happens now if we actually try to do this in Zoho. So I'm over in Zoho in my CRM system, and let me show you how you set somebody up. It's this, it's this simple. So I have a new customer, and I put in their, their information, and you see right up here at the top where it says contact owner, you can just specify that person as whoever in the business is the owner of that contact. If you're the owner, and let's say this is a, a close client that you always want to ring to you, no problem. You can make yourself the owner. Or if it's somebody new, you can have a sales rep or um, a service rep and just assign them there. And of course, if you end up wanting to change it for some reason, you can easily change it. That is where the magic is done right there. And then just you add all the rest of their normal information. I have a list of customers out here and let's go ahead and I've got Darth Vader in the audience and he's gonna give us a call. Let's see uh, what happens. Darth Vader does have um, an owner, a, a customer owner. Darth, could you give us a call? So Darth calls. And you see it went straight to me. And we probably should hear some <coughs> but we didn't do that part. So as you can see, Darth Vader instantly came straight through to me. And you also see this pop-up here that shows um, information about this call. It shows how long it is um, and gives me information about Darth. And then also, I can enter information during the call, um, you know, wants to speak to Yoda. And then, um, thanks Darth, I, I got your message. You wanna speak to Yoda, you can hang up now, please. He won't hang up, so I'll hang him up. There we go. So now I can schedule up a follow-up call and I say, uh, talk to Darth. I can schedule the call here. It suggests a time for me. I can, I can set it at this date. And then um, he wants to discuss a rematch with Luke. So now I say done. And what you'll see up here is that when I save this, is up there by Darth Vader. It should show up that, like down here um, where you see that little tag showing that there's a call scheduled. What we have now is a completely different streamlined situation. And even in the event where um, you know, I'm not available to take that call, we still have that really powerful dial plan function so that I could schedule it to maybe even go to another person or into a queue. And then if the call gets taken by somebody else, we can make adjustments to um, the customer as well. But anyway, this is the only product for the SMB market that does anything like this. If you were working for an extremely large company and paying 200 bucks a month per agent, you could pay somebody to do a custom integration like this and it would take a couple months. That was done in 30 seconds. And so this makes Zoho the most powerfully integrated telephony system for SMB and makes your customers happier because they're not getting frustrated as they go through the IVR. I thank you guys for listening. This is a super exciting thing. It is so small, but the simple things are what are awesome. Thanks.